Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the Gyojo brand model 500N digital force gauge high precision push pull meter for tension and compression testing. Newton's kilogram pounds ounces you can set it to. It's real time, has peak settings, first peak modes, ideal for quality control and material testing. And you can actually mount this in a lab, which is really cool. So this is really accurate. It comes with a uh, test card where somebody actually tested it and calibrated it. There is a reset function on here to bring it back to the original calibration. There is an instruction manual. Now this has a lot of features. Yeah, I'm just gonna go over the basics. It would take too long of a video to show everything. There's a lot of functionality to this. It comes with two AAA batteries and mounting hardware for the unit itself. When you take a look at the unit on the back of it, you can see that it has the receptor holes with threads so that you can mount this. And that's really nice so that it could be in a position where you're calibrating something. This is very heavy duty. This thing has some hefty weight to it. And I noticed the bushings they're using, this is extremely uh, uh, high quality and uh, it's going to be able to handle a lot of tension on there. If you look at the bottom right here, there is the holder for the batteries right in there, which is nice, simple to use. And uh, we're going to go over all the functions of this, but it has these attachments here and uh, these screw on and allow you to extend the top of the unit. As you can see right here, I can thread this right on. This all looks like it's stainless steel when I tested it, which is nice. Again, really durable. Then you have the various things. You've got a hook function. So you actually have a hook for push and pull and all these other pieces that allow you to do various testing. So here, this is excellent if you have something that you want it to slot into. And this is this the exact opposite. Here's a point and this is a flat piece. So we're going to put that flat piece on there just for testing and demonstration. And again, this is really high quality. With this long arm right here, you can see there's no slop in there. That's really impressive. So it's very simple to use. You turn it on and it has a lit display right there. The studio lights are really bright here. It has a zero function. You can zero it out and you can see it defaulted to N Newtons. And now you've got kilograms, pounds, and ounces. So for demonstration, I'm going to use ounces because that uh, provides a pretty decent change for a small amount of movement. <clears throat> so if I take this top right here and I gently push, <clears throat> you can see that real time it's showing me, <clears throat> it's showing me the actual ounces. Really nice. Now if I pull, it goes in the other direction and you see the little arrow there it kind of shows you right there whether it's being pulled or pushed now there is this cool mode where you hit peak right there so in case you can't see the display you take a measurement of something you push and then it locks it in place now you could do this over and over again you could just zero it out and then i can do a pull function and it gives me the pull of 59 ounces and it locks it right there and that's great because you don't, don't always have to look at the display and you may not be able to all the time and you just zero it out. There's this other mode where it's P and T and you can read in the manual. That's a timed uh, method where it's going to actually um, tell you, you set how much time you want it between the movement and where it locks. So that would be really handy if you're doing some repetitive operation that's based on time and you want to measure the forces uh, over time so the manual does talk about that and again you could zero that out also and it'll lock it in place just like that and there is the set button and you have various things you can do there are even some presets on here you can actually preset the uh, unit to have a certain force in newtons or in ounces or pounds and it'll alarm you because there is a little piezo alarm right there as you look and that's what's allowing us to hear those beeps that we're hearing right here. Um, and you could turn that beep off and change it. You could change the timing of the display. It's all in the manual how to do that. 
but uh, overall, this is pretty amazing. The quality of this its a real high definition, simple display lit. And it also tells you the battery capacity right there. If you look, it does show you the batteries. I did put some old batteries in there just for testing, just to see how it would do. And uh, very simple to use, a functional product. You're gonna have a lot of applications to use this for, um, especially if you mount this, then you could really take advantage of the extreme accuracy of this, because then it's mounted that any force you put on here is gonna be applied and accurately read on the display. So I'm impressed with this. Uh, it's built like a tank I and mean, it's really solid. The weight of this, the bushings on it, you could just tell are really incredible quality of this. So I'm gonna give the Gojo brand, the Model 500 and Digital Force Gauge, a full five-star rating. I hope this video review helped you with your buying decision. Thank you for watching.